Okay, so what you want to do is you want to build it like this. Build a doorway. Alright, give your doorway some legs. Right in the middle of your doorway. Okay, you want to put a piston with a separate block than your whole machine. So you want your machine, one block, the pistons, another block. Right here you want nothing. Right here you want, oopsie, a piston, alright? So when you, on his leg, from this side, the side without a block, you want to put another block, a triple piston. So it's like, it's two facing that way, and then one facing towards the door. So, mirror that on the other side, place a block, boom, 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 and then make sure to break the block. You, you have to have the block broken, okay? And then down here, break, break, over, over, alright? So you break these two, you go over and over, and you place redstone there, there. Like, basically just along this whole line, alright? So now that you have all this, what you want to do is you want to make it up like this, over onto the piston that's facing the wall. So build it like a butterfly onto the piston that's facing the wall. Okay? There you go. Boom. Boom. Like this. Alright. So you kind of want to make it... Wait, you don't actually... Here we go. Um, you kind of want to make it like a, uh, like a smiley face. So don't... You cannot leave a block touching that piston because you need redstone on it. So you put redstone in either bit. Put redstone on the leg. The other leg. You place a piece of redstone right there so it connects to the bottom. See? And then you come to the top. Oh, we actually should have done this earlier. You give these pistons their blocks. And then when you're at the top, you want to put a repeater here, a repeater here. Click it two times. So you click them two times. Place redstone this like this so you want to go connect into these two out one on the top of the butterfly you want to put out one oopsie that is so smart of me you want to go out one and then you want to let's just place a lever here for now and flip it just in case it breaks okay so it worked so this is that this is why you have to put a different block so that you can tell if it actually closed so it should have closed the back should have closed on these pistons now you place your block so everything's in place so you break that and you place your torch since you know it's gonna work because it, it will break on your first time like i don't know if you see over here i have built this contraption like five times because i just i keep breaking it i keep breaking it it's so irritating so you have your thing and then when you want to open it, boom. and then make sure you have a doorway. I should have done that too, but whatever. So there you go. And then you can just tidy it up. As long as you don't place blocks right here, okay? But you can conceal it by doing like this sort of thing. Kind of like terraforming your way through, you know? So give it like a, you know, like a weird blocky feel. So we can do this, and then we can go up, up. We can go in one, make it, try and like conceal it so it looks more like a cave, or wherever you're really hiding it. You could hide the stairs, I guess, but I don't know. And then, see? So like, it kind of looks cavey, and then when you have this gone... I mean, you can kind of tell, but you can't really, so, like, you can destroy blocks like that, like, make it less obvious. Or, like, right here, you can place a block, I think. Wait, can you? That'll break it? No, that'll break it. <laughs> but you kind of gotta, like, figure some of that stuff out, and then, once you're ready to open it, remember your block that it's on, and then you can go in. And I know a lot of people like to do levers on this, but I personally like to do button. Like, so if you're on a stone, you put a stone button, and then you press it, and then you can walk through, and then it closes behind you. And then, on the other side, you actually can't get out. That might be an issue. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's the design I use when I make secret rooms anyway, so. 
an alternate version of it is to place two pieces of redstone right here so it's a bit three like that place a lever and then let's break the button place the lever here and then you have the lever down and then when you want in you undo the lever and then you close the lever on this side i mean it works but you can't have it always closed unless you have the lever always closed so people can just walk ooh lever and then they flip it and then, oopsie, and then they flip it like and they know exactly where your base is so it's like <sighs> That's why I like the button with the redstone torch, but I mean, you do you, dude. It's it's your seat, it's your base. It's it's well, it's like your build. So any design that you like better, you can do that. So I do the button. You can do the lever if you want. The only issue with the button is getting out, but we already covered that. So okay, guys, I really hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.